Hey everyone, this is Mr. Z, here for the Jack-O-Lantern project. So, let's go ahead and learn some new cool tricks in Inventor, and design a Jack-O-Lantern. Let's get started. So, to start, go ahead and create a new part file, standard.ipt. Let that open up, and we're going to 3D print these. So, something important about 3D prints is that you have to make sure that their base is flat. And in this case, since it's going to be a jack lantern, we're going to put a small light in it. We're going to start a sketch. I'm going to select this plane over here. Click on that. And I'm going to draw out two circles that are going to be centered with one another. The first one is going to be 1.5 inches. Enter. And the second one, which is going to be centered, is going to be 1.75 inches. Enter. So these are going to be relatively small jack-o'-lanterns, but that's okay. And I'm going to finish the sketch, and I'm going to extrude out the, the ring-like circle a total of 0.1 inches, and then press OK. Okay, so I have my ring here. I want to start creating the jack-o'-lantern, but there's a small issue. And that issue is we can only start 2D sketches on flat surfaces. So this entire ring is round, so you cannot start a 2D sketch on it. You could start a 2D sketch here, but the pumpkin isn't going to be facing this direction. So the only two options we have are to do a 3D sketch, and we're not ready for that yet, or to get something flat to appear here. And the best way to do that is to turn on one of your planes. So over here in the browser, we have a folder called Origin. And if you click on the arrow, next to that folder, we're going to have three planes that we can always use. And for this uh, project, you can use either the XY or the YZ. I'm going to right click on the YZ and turn the visibility on. And when you do that, it's going to leave that plane in place. And now I can start a 2D sketch on that plane. So I'm in sketch mode. Things are looking good. Uh, but this is in the way, so I'm going to press F7, and I recommend you do the same. It's going to cut your object in half, but it's not really cut in half. It just looks like that. And then I'm going to imagine what half of a jack-o'-lantern would look like, and I'm going to draw that out. So I'm going to use the arc tool, and starting from the corner of this part, and my inventor does not show little green lines, so I'm going to have to hopefully hit this as best I can. I'm going to, you know, imagine a jack-o'-lantern and I'm going to draw that out. So something like that, let's say. That's going to be a section of my jack-o'-lantern. And once I've drawn these lines, I'm going to use the offset tool and I'm going to click on them. And hopefully it allows you to offset it. Because if it does really easy, if not, you might have to just delete your arc and give it another shot. But put a little bit of an offset. Uh, I'm just going to type in the number 0 .05, enter, and that looks good for me. Okay, so remember jack-o'-lanterns are hollow on the inside, so we need to make sure this is hollow as well. So I'm going to draw a line from, I guess, this line down here, and I'm going to extend this so it connects, and then I'm going to trim off this excess. Okay, so that's closed. Up here, this is a little more tricky, but I'm going to draw a line, I guess going from there to there, and I'm going to also trim off the excess. Okay, so that you're left with just a cross section of the jack lantern. And if we do this correctly, it should be hollow. So I'm going to click Finish Sketch. That's going to finish that up. And now let's go ahead and create our pattern. So moment of truth. Will it revolve or will it not? So we've used extrude before. And we're going to use it a lot in this class. But for a jack-o'-lantern, this is something we need to revolve. So I'd like you to select the revolve option. And click on this. Open up your revolve options. If you didn't see how I did that, I clicked on that arrow. And what you need to do after you select the profile is specify the axes. And the axes is the center of rotation. 
So in this case, that is this line right over here. I want it to revolve on this line. So if I click on that, you're going to notice that it's going to spin a complete nice circle for me, which is great, except that jack-o'-lanterns are not super nice circles like this. So we need to actually mess around with it a little. Uh, in terms of the angle amount, we're going a full 360 degrees. But I want you to switch it to angle. And I want you to decide how many sections you want. Uh, I'm going to say I want 18 sections. So that's going to be 20 degrees. Because if it's 360 degree degrees for a full revolution, 20 degrees times 18 would be enough for what I need. So I'm going to type in 20 degrees and I'm going to hit OK. And if you do that correctly, it's going to create that nice cross section of your pumpkin. And we are going to rough up the edges a little by using the fillet tool located right over here. Select that and I want you to click on one of the outside edges. And if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, you might have too much fillet on it. So I'm going to mess around with this number. I'm going to type in 0 0.01 and lo and behold, it works. So that's not enough. I'm going to go 0 0.03, 0 0.04. That looks good for me. I want to select the other side also. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to attempt to click on these top ones as well. And it looks like it worked really nicely. So I put fillets on all those. If it doesn't work for you, you might have to mess around with that fillet number. But don't let it give you an error. So if it gives you an error, it means it will not work. It's too much fillet. You have to lower that amount. And then it might work. OK, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. And there is one section of my jack-o'-lantern. OK. Now let's go ahead and revolve this so that it completes it. But the revolve tool will no longer work. In this case, what we're going to need is a circle pattern. And the circle pattern tool is located right over here. Circular pattern. And it works really easily. Just click on it. And first you have to specify the features. So I want the revolve that I did as well as the fillet. So I'm going to select both of those. And you can also select them from the browser if you'd like. And then you have to go to rotation axes. Click on that. And a rotation axis is something that you want it to revolve around that is circular. So in this case, the base happens to be a circle. So I can click on that. And then it's going to ask you how many patterns do you want in 360 degrees. And since I did a 20 degree increment, I'm going to want 18. So I'm going to type in 18 and then make sure that you switch over to pattern solids. And if you press OK, and if you did it correctly, then give it a second and it should generate the solid pumpkin. OK, so we have our pumpkin design. I will see you in part two where we add the stem and start creating the sketch on the side. OK, peace.